Outside the Waffle House. I've never had this before in my other cars. It's a front camera. For a car that's 16 feet long, it's really necessary to have one of these. Yeah, I mean, you can see just about everything. <laughs> Look, it's like a wide camera right there. That's for every tire. But guys, we just pulled up to the Waffle House, AKA Waffle Home. And let's go ahead and get some food for this nice road trip. So, I mean, guys, oh, shit. The car is like literally completely all the way filled packed oh god i think opening this door is maybe a terrible idea literally oh my god we got the jordans in the back like that it's a really cool feature when you wave your foot over the trunk it opens and oh my god this is guys do you see how i repacked this i so basically look i did it all like this i put every box in thankfully it closes with like no extra slam yes well, you're right i mean we definitely can't fit anything else in the trunk now, so. hence, hence why all three of our belongings are in the back seat. Yeah, but hey, listen, we got three humans, one super awesome car, and an amazing Waffle House to eat at. So guys, I can't see what's wrong with the situation. Let's get it. I'm about to pop a chalky milk. All-star special. It's the most value for your money. Texas bacon, egg and cheese. If you know, you oh, know. Chocolate chip, scissor. I forgot, I was like, I was gonna pull out the key and I was like, wait, you don't need to use the key anymore to unlock it. The G-Wagon is literally, like I said, the least technology efficient car there is, or least technology packed car there is. With too much luggage, we got too much luggage. We got Supreme Courier luggage. I think what I want to do guys is because Ethan and TJ are here these guys have been like one of my styling like best friends right for a very long time yeah once we get to your house and after we settle down I think we should look through some of the stuff in your closet and some of the stuff that you know that you don't fit or don't want and yep. um, see we can value some of that figure out some places to go and see if there's stuff that you want to sell some stuff maybe look. on my site yeah 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 like try to find places to sell also you could find some things that maybe you've been wanting to get yeah so. man cab fours are still on my want list you know that still have not found a pair of cab fours like i found a pair, pair i found a pair of size 13s i almost bought them i'm a size 12 i did i couldn't do it though. nah fours are too big for it. that fours are too big for fours that. Are, yeah they just make them too big i couldn't do it for sure i couldn't do it i almost did it though but uh, i'm really excited to look you through this man's closet it. not only are we gonna pick out everything I'm making you a whole bunch of outfits, boy. Yo, I'm ready. I need I need some more content for the gram. It's been we're a minute. Gonna have a whole bunch of outfits. Yeah. Every day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna have a new outfit picked by me. There's gonna be probably about three or four different outfits. See y'all. We're getting the team together. Like I said, I don't know if you know, we have two things um, Blaze and Derry. She goes, oh my God, we met him, my son and I met him in the airport two years ago. <laughs> That's awesome. I was like, what? How do you like the car? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have no words. I honestly have no words other than just pure smiles. never been this close to Washington Monument before. That right there is the Capitol Hill building. And we'll leave that at that. SHIP! Alright guys, so since we've been driving, we've been continuing to go through the endless features on this car and one of the things we found we found a graph for the fuel consumption which is kind of a big deal in this this new car yeah. um, because of how bad it was in the, the wagon you know 15 minutes ago i was nearing 30 
miles per gallon. And yeah, the average is 18.5, sure, but as far as everything else goes, like, the car is, is just a pleasure to drive. I mean, I've been sitting in this thing for the last seven, eight hours, and I would have to say it's been not only a very comfortable drive, it's been very fun. One of my favorite features about the AMG GT63S is the Mercedes autonomous driving and basically it's an adaptive cruise control with lane assist and steering wheel takeover essentially but you keep your hands on the steering wheel. Right now we're set at a cruise control of 75 miles an hour. I'll go ahead and flick it up a little bit and then put on this right turn. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna automatically lane change in the cruise control when it's safe. As you guys saw, there was maybe a truck right there, completely hands-free. And then of course that's when you stop that and you continue driving. Now, the best part is like I said, that active lane assist is gonna continue working with your cruise control. It's actively making that turn without my hands on the wheel. Now, of course, you do keep two hands on there. There even is an icon that lets you know, hey, keep your two hands on the wheel. I'm tired, my butt hurts. I will say, this is a very luxurious space. How do you feel in the front? It's pretty good. There's a lot of like uh, lumbar support options in the kinetic seat thing, so yep. like it moves while you're sitting better than I thought, but it's still a long ride. No, overall, it's a long car ride. I would say the front seats would probably be more comfortable than the back, but yeah. it's yeah. been a uh, it's been a great trip though. My only though. complaint is my butt. That's really it. Yeah. My butt cheeks just kind of hurt. <laughs> I think it's my tailbone. Yeah, you might gotta get that checked out. <laughs> York. We up in Zoo York. We are here, guys. This is exciting, yo. I'm just so happy this thing gets up in the driveway. We're home, and you guys are about to see the house for the first time. We made it. We made it. Let's go. Got to send the text. We're home. First impressions? It's <laughs> awesome. Dude, this place this is, is sick. Wow. You got the whole setup. Crazy. Wait, well, I want to see the living room. I want to see the living room. Look, living, living room's this way. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. The big boy TV. Hey, and then upstairs check this out. Yeah, yeah. Come check this out upstairs. Oh, she definitely wanted her treats really bad. Holy sh! I've never seen this out of you, Angel. Let's get you these damn treats. <laughs> yeah. Yo. You have a whole room Yo. for Pokemon. Literally, it's com like I have nothing in here. It's complete guest room. Like I have nothing of mine is in here other than some little storage. Hi! Oh, uh, yeah. Sick. So I have, uh, this is my room right here. And then I have my closet. Oh, wow. This is actually like a watch your head. What do we got in size 12? <laughs> Household duties. I know, it's dirty. We gotta clean it a little bit. The next day. Alright, so boys, next morning, how you feel about the house now? house is beautiful. Dude. Now that it's, now that it's yeah. light, you know? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's a lot different. It feels bigger and more spacious now in the light. And like, you know the thing about New York houses that I miss? I'm not from New York, I'm from New Jersey. I have parents from New York. But they always have like windows on the roofs that allow sunlight to come in. It's yep. like a sunlight roof. Oh my God, beautiful in the morning. Like, Thank you, you look, bro. If you look like right here on the stairs, like you see it, beautiful. Yeah, I wish I owned this place. That's the goal, guys, real estate. Build your real estate portfolio. Buy houses before you buy cars. Uh, oh, 26 cents. See, actually, in, in New York, quarters are worth like 43 cents, bro. All right, we made it. Let's go get these breakfast sandwiches. Button it up. This is the wind, man. Oh, I know. It's a whole lot of wind. It's really not that cold. It's only like, it, it said like what? 30. It's 30, but, it's the, 30, wind but the wind makes it feel like 16. This man stepping, he's stepping in the Gucci jacket with the corduroy <laughs> pants the quarter, oh, and the, the fruity pebbles. Get the, well, I, I got the cactus jack. Look at that. The reason why I'm theming it for my video I'm uploading, the we gotta R. upload today. Sneak peek. CLS? I 
swear to God, you're a YouTuber. <laughs> Blaze or something like that? Yeah, it was good. How y'all doing? Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Savory. Canadian bacon. What? Maybe northern bacon? Big man! Ah. TJ, you're doing that. Oh my god! TJ! What? <laughs> that was quite the effort, my friend. Good stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Go eat then. You might as well. Here, well, here, look, look, look. Here's some cups. They changed them from styrofoam to plastic. <laughs> Are you selling some of these? I have like 300 of them. We went out for breakfast, right? And Giancarlo was telling me, he was like, you know, Teach, you're gonna be cold in those jeans. You're gonna be cold in those jeans. Oh, I was yeah, like, you didn't want to listen. I was like, I was like, I'll be fine, dude. Like my legs normally don't get cold, right? Like, I, I, as soon as the wind hit, mm, everything else was fine except for my legs. <laughs> everything else was fine. Now, what do you got? What do you got? Oh! Blazing joggers underneath the pants. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. Much love. Next vlog update will be when TJ's like, guys. Guys, I'm, I'm hot. I'm, I'm sweating. sweating. This is uh, day number two now. We Does got it count as day number one? So day one All is right, now. Cut. Whatever, day All number right. two, whatever. We're on the way to go get pizza though. This man's looking clean. We're also gonna pick a winner for these blazers in today's vlog because I got you guys these a couple videos ago and I wanna return the favor for everybody that leaves likes, comments, and subscribes on my videos. So once again, if you guys would like to enter this blazer giveaway, I'm gonna extend it one more video. I know some of you may have not seen the previous video where I said, yo, you could win these blazers. I'll flip a coin, heads or tails, I'll choose one of the videos, and then I'll pick a comment. Let's get some pizza. That buffalo chicken and Sicilian. I was recently put on by the Buffalo Chicken Gang. Nah, it's really good. But Sicilian is just always a no-brainer. Oh, corner slice? Oh, babe. Let's go. Ooh, got all these nugget rugs and or pillows. I mean, let's take a look. We got a lot of stuff. This is just some stuff that we've had sitting around either duplicates or just stuff from my closet that doesn't fit like these gym reds these don't fit i'm gonna try and sell these again these metallic ones right here they're ds i know they're going up in price can definitely cash out on these the biohacks uh, we laced up one of them just for pictures but ds on both we have right here some 350s the clouds i think these ones are called mm -hmm. caterpillars we got some sixes right here ds the supreme camo fives uh, just, you know, they don't, I don't really wear them in my collection. I think they're actually too small in the first place. Just trying to make some space. As you guys can see, we're running out a little bit. And I may be even considering getting a warehouse pretty soon or like an office space. So that's very exciting. Uh, but all right, let's get them out. Right now we're headed to a store called Sold Out New Jersey. You know, in the comments, you know, let me know too, like what kind of stuff y'all want to see. It's about as well, like the videos I put out there. I want you guys to know that I have all of your interests in mind as far as what you want to see. If there's certain content that you want to see, listen, I will have no problem making that content for you. All right, we just made it to Newark, New Jersey. Hey, you're in New Jersey. I know, this is my hometown. All right, guys. I might just need some hands help grabbing this stuff. What's up, man? How are yeah, you? Nice to meet you, nice you, to meet you man. What's up? Well, when did you guys open your store? Uh, May, it's five years. Five years? Is it you guys three the owners? or? No, the owner's not here. You guys have a lot of stuff for sale. How do you guys buy it? You guys buy it off people? You guys buy it off the drops and stuff? No, literally just off people. Just yeah. how you're doing it right now. It's okay. To the point where everybody just brings in. And, yep. Um, basically everything in the store. And consignment as well. Okay. Yeah, for sure. You know, a lot of this stuff, some of it, most of it's DS, there's some pre owned. So pretty like those paws I wore maybe probably two or three times. These are some stuff I've just been kind of storing over the last mm -hmm. couple years, just eventually just gonna cash oh, out. Sure. They got the bandana, the blue. but it's the navy and it's a yeah. size small though, but check that out. Sheesh. Yo, so we just got some calf fours right now. 
not here unfortunately, but we'll keep the hunt going. Don't we haven't forgotten about those. What the heat? See, I, I need the unions. You I'm do. still missing those, and I would love to cut the tongue. That's my favorite color, right? Because cut the tongue. yeah, they the guava. Color. You gotta cut the tongue. That's exactly what I'm trying to do there. Oh wow, this is like the heat over here, guys. I would love to get these into the collection, even though they're older. Oh, I need these. I know that. Eleven and a half. Oh man, love to get a pair of the satins at some point. You know, these are just too small. These ones. And the PSGs. Size eleven. Okay, let's see. So for everything as of right now, and the cash out with the calls, we got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pairs. You are right now at forty-three fifty. Uh, what are some of the, the breakdowns? Yeah, yeah some of the breakdowns sure. on those. For everything, I was hoping to get cashed out for 6800 At a resale shop, that's not likely, so I'm going to go ahead and try and negotiate some of the breakdowns on the pairs and maybe get close to the dollar I'm looking for per pair. 275 You guys go like 320 on those? I'd probably stay fine at 275 just because we have a lot of pairs of these already. Okay. Yeah. Store credit-wise, though, this is all for buyout numbers, so store credit-wise, I can definitely go up. Okay. Black 350s, you're going to be at 225. Yeah, probably can't do that. Would you be able to come up to like 265 on them? Mm, if you like 250. Can't do it. on those guys. Mods, you're looking at 275. Could you do three? That's one. Okay. Do three. And once you break the ice, you can start getting a little bit more negotiable. Is it fills? Is it fills? You're at two hundred. Two. Yes. Sir. You like two forty? Yeah, I probably say five two because we've been buying that across the board. Okay. Yeah, you can make it in retail. Travis is. Uh, you're at twelve hundred. Twelve. Y'all have 35 pairs of these? I'm sort of in a similar situation. I got a couple pairs too. What'd you guys say again? I'm sorry. Uh, 12. 12? Yes. Maybe like 14, but that's it. Let me see how many sizes. Like a yeah, bad stock investment. You don't always take the W's. Probably bump it to 13. But just because I have a lot already. Okay, like 14, so that's kind of where I was headed. I wanted 1550 for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So on the sixes, you're looking at 200. 200 on those guys. On the UNCs, mm -hmm. um, could we do like 240? Did you add 220? You, you mean the middle, 230. All right, cool. All right. 230. Yeah, I mean, the best, not, like, yeah, we're a little off on these. And I know, I brought these actually to a couple of different places, and it's all over the board with these yeah, generally. 275. 275 for these? Mm -hmm. They're a slow roll for us. I don't know why. It's such a fire show. Do like 330? Because mm. I was asking 375. I mean, Three, that's. 330. 330. Gotcha. Yeah. Could you do like 220? Yeah, I got you. Alright. 220? Oh, uh, Tau Navies? Yeah. Tau Navies, you're going to be looking at, again, 275. 275? Mm -hmm. Could do 320. I was asking 360 on them, but I know y'all got to make some money too. Yeah, that's right. What's that? What's that? Yeah. What about 290? Yeah, I'd stay for that. Hmm. Alright, I can do it. Yeah, I'll do 275. Just to that, I would probably hold off. Yo, they honored that, so I said it was 50, but it was actually 75, so yeah, thank you. I do appreciate that. Check this out, guys. So here's the Supreme playing cards. What's dope about these is they're like mirrored and clear. It's really clean. Thank you so much. Uh, take it easy. Have a good one, bro. Take it easy. Yeah. And then we're gonna, we may need to do one more trip for just bringing everything in and out. We'll, we'll see you guys again. Bro. Yeah, bro, of course. Say what's good, man. Yo, what's up, man? Follow me on IG, 201 Kicks on J L O C. You buying stuff? Yeah, I buy, sell, trade all the time. Here, if you want to go outside, we got some stuff for sale right here. Yeah. Red ones right here. Yeah, you don't see these too many 
got the cloud whites right here. Eight and a half, brand new. Nice. What, three? Three? Not bad, not bad. I got 280 on right now. 280 on? It I might sell these for 280. Size are these? Brand new, size 10. I'd okay. sell those for 280 because I want 320, but. Yeah, yeah. And can I see what else you have? Yep. We got the non reflective. Non reflective? How yeah, much for those? I think for these, I'm looking at three, man. Three? Yeah. What size are those? These are uh, nine and a half. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. I got 270. Would you do that? 270 for these? Yeah. I do it for. Like, no cap. That's what I got right now. I do it for these ones right here. Those? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And these. you said what size are they? They're a ton. Ten. Yep. Okay, okay. Can go a little lower. For on uh, on these ones? Yeah. Nah. 50 your firm. 275 is firm. Yeah. yeah. I got them for 250 right now. 260. You got a deal. 260. Yeah, you got a deal. 260. All right. Let's go. All right. Appreciate you. And your name? Taylor. Taylor. Yeah. John Carlo, man. Nice to meet you. I watch all your videos. So yeah, really? follow me on IG. I yeah. buy shoes. I sell shoes all the time. Jordan, Yeezys, Dunks, all of that. Perfect. Yeah, man. Let's get a picture together. Why are you watching your YouTube videos and all that? Like, yeah, thank you, man. Really cool. You just that. sold me a pair. I appreciate that. Bro. Of course. Bro. Appreciate bro. it, man. Thank you, Taylor. So, yeah. Really nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Great. All right. Nice all to right, meet all of you guys. Yeah, have a good night. So, basically... <laughs> so, basically... <laughs> we were in the store, and uh, bro Taylor came up to me, and he was like, um, hey, do you care if uh, if I talk to uh, John Carlo? Maybe you know he'd uh, you know, uh, be cool if I you know shout out my own uh, channel. You know maybe he'd uh, be cool if I bought some sneakers. And I was like, yeah, man. I was like, I can go talk to him for sure. So I went over there. Next thing you know, it was that. That was a wrap. Yeah. You no, know, I'm glad I could uh, facilitate that. We're all a team, and we really love you guys. I swear. Yeah. We make everything possible. Without y'all, it it wouldn't be anything. You guys are like, the world. I swear. So I feel like for a store, they were offering some pretty fair prices on some of the items and then some of the other ones, like the bigger ticket stuff, they are going to try and get that premium to really move it. Um, so we kind of know, you know, the deal with how that goes in stores, you know, they need to make money, they need to buy low to sell high. Just like how I'm buying low and selling high, I'm trying to do the same thing. So we're not always going to come eye to eye on some prices and there's some that make sense for me to let go of and it makes sense for the store to also buy, which is obviously the pairs you guys saw. And a lot of the times with these stores, you can meet new people and it's a lot of the great ways to stay safe when doing meetups especially if you're trying to sell and make transactions happen a store is you know a great secure place to make that uh make that vision